Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of gold and silver. I'll give you my financial opinion and I'll go over the dollar, 10 year, and some other uh, market condition updates. So let's dive in. Uh, I've got the dollar behind me and the dollar is rocketing higher. It is the least turd of the big turds. It's going down at a slower rate than all the other currencies, and that's what this is showing. And I don't the the dollar is inflating away. It is losing value in real terms. If you were to do a ratio of the DXY to the producer price index, you can see that the dollar is going down. So there is inflation out there. It's just it's the least turd of of all the turds. Uh, looking at the 10-year yield, the 10-year yield is dropping today. Uh, it gapped lower in the morning, and then some buyers came in and bought it up a little bit. But we are getting some relief in the 10-year Treasury yield. So with that going down a little bit, um, usually, usually gold likes a little bit less yield, if you know what I mean. It likes real negative yields. And it likes high inflation with low yields. And we're just getting this pullback here. We've got a little bit of buying support here, and we have to see what happens the next couple of trading days. There is a lot of momentum behind this move, so I'm reluctant to just jump in front of this train and get smoked by it. But, I, you know, it, <clears throat> we're starting today <clears throat> with a little bit of buying pressure and that's that's where you have to start you have to start with a little bit of buying pressure there's no reversal candlestick here or anything so let, let's see what next you know the next <coughs> ah, man the next couple of trading days bring us uh silver again we're slowing that momentum down some but we have a lot of momentum uh this one two three four five in five trading days we went from 2587 down to 2350 in in five trading days that's a lot of momentum we're, we're working a little bit of the momentum off today but again we have to see what the next couple of days bring us with this momentum here uh with strong momentum usually comes a sideways move before a move higher so i'm guessing that this is probably going to lag uh and, and go sideways or something like that uh or or do some of these kind of bouncing movements before heading higher Platinum is trying to put in a little bit more of a bottoming type pattern. You can see that we contracted on this day yesterday, and now we've got a small update today. So it looks like the opening and closing price is contracting and slowing down that momentum a little bit. Would, it, would I be a buyer down here? Yeah, why not? It's cheap. <clears throat> could it go down a little bit more? It could. It could bounce all around down here. Uh, XAU to gold ratio, it is heading lower. The mining companies are beelining lower. Kind of weird, isn't it? We were set up for a break to the upside, and here we are beelining lower. Uh, statistical probability was to the upside, and we're beelining lower. So wait for this momentum to work its way off. That's what we need to do. Uh, Corora Resources, again, it's pulling on back a little bit. Uh, it, I think we're going to bounce around in this general vicinity for a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to say that pretty much for all of them. EXK, look at this. We were at 570, 575, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven trading sessions ago, and now we're at 390. The, the move, the momentum of that move is a lot, and it's quick, but we're, again, we're coming back inside the pattern over here, and, and we'll see what happens. Uh, FSM, that's also selling off uh, rapidly. Uh, SILJ, again, rapid sell-off here. We're still above the downtrend line. GDX, another sell-off that's rapid. We are still above the breakout of this pattern. We'll see what happens. Uh, we've got Met uh, Metallic Minerals trying to find some support right where it's at. That's a small exploration company. These small ex exploration companies, I don't know if I'd be hitting them up at this time. Uh, not with gold and silver heading lower and, and the majors, the big, the big boys heading lower. This is low down there. Discovery Silver also is dropping out to the downside. Uh, could we see further downside? Yes, we could. The momentum here is quite amazing. Uh, 
First Majestic Silver selling off quite a bit. It is B lining, A lining, C lining downward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The past seven trading sessions has not been good for any of these companies. Uh, Newmont, it looks like it's trying to find some support where it's at. So that looks at least a little bit positive. Uh, Mag Silver, again, we've got this B lining lower here. Uh, we could head lower, and I wouldn't jump in front of this momentum yet. Let it work its way out. Uh, Yamana Gold heading lower, Impact Silver. The small guys I would not be touching right now, guys. Uh, they're heading lower. Uh, Aftermath Silver is heading lower. We could see a, a, another fresh move lower. And in fact, I would say that it's time to get out of some of these if you don't want to bear the short term movements. This is breaking a resistance line to the downside. No bueno. Arcana Silver moving sideways. PLG moving lower. Uh, Sibinyai Stillwater still heading lower. Uh, the royalty companies, these are my larger holdings. Really, it's my, my main holdings. We've got Sandstorm Gold. Looks like it's probably going to firm up a little bit. Uh, but there's a lot of momentum behind this move. I don't know if I'd jump in front of it. Uh, we've got Franco Nevada, another one that looks like it wants to go lower. Uh, again, it's a lot of momentum. We may hit down in this general vicinity, uh, like I was thinking before, and, and hopefully we can get support there. EMX, uh, heading lower. I wouldn't jump in front of that right now. Tootin Resources, uh, trying to find support where it's at. We've got Wheaton Precious Metals heading lower. I do think this could potentially head back to a full retest. Lots of momentum, big down days. Uh, Gold Royalty heading lower there. I wouldn't get in front of that. Uh, Metalla Royalty, another one that's heading lower. Again, guys, I would be on the sidelines here waiting for this momentum to dissipate first. Uh, Mavericks Metals, another one that's heading lower. We've got Royal Gold heading lower, and this could head even lower. So, a Cisco Gold Royalty, not looking too great. And Altius Minerals look like it's trying to find a support area somewhere where it's at. Uh, again, guys, I would not be jumping in front of this. There's too much momentum. You don't jump in front of momentum. Don't don't catch the falling knife. Don't be a hero. Don't be uh, any of this stuff. Let it fall. Let it dissipate that momentum and then step in and buy into strength. Uh, I still own all my stuff. I haven't sold anything. It is a little bit, you know, it's, it's not fun writing this, but I still think that the fundamentals are good. Uh, why do I think the fundamentals are good? Because we have a strong housing real estate market. That is where the inflation is coming from. And if we continue to have inflation, then uh, interest rates should continue to go up and then the mo rotation of money will happen. Uh, I haven't seen, I mean, this could be, we could be really early in this mix, really, really early. And what could potentially be happening is that the inflation rate from the stimulus that's out there uh, could go to a little bit lower level where the housing market's sustaining at five, 6% inflation but we're coming from 8, 9, 10% inflation. And we could see still see another blip upward, but uh, that could be the potential case. Again, I don't try to speculate on the short-term stuff. I like the medium to long-term, and I think that all the conditions are in place for these to do well in the future. Uh, we're going to have one heck of a buying opportunity when this ends, uh, whenever it does end. And again, I'm sticking with a lot of the physical metals. I've been adding physical metals here recently. I don't own too many miners. I own a lot of royalty companies. I own the mining companies I do own are diversified miners. I don't own too many precious metals mining companies. I own some. I own some of the small speculative ones like Discovery Silver and, and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't own too many of them. And my positions aren't very big. So just, you know, l letting you know that, disclosing that. Uh, my positions are much larger in energy, uh, especially oil and natural gas. All right, guys, um, we'll end it there. Give me a thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the uh, channel if you haven't. Subscribe to the website. Become a Platinum member. Uh, we will have another meeting this weekend. I'm still determining if it's Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I've got something Saturday, which is kind of midday, and I don't know if I should do it before it or not, uh, because I kind of, I, I probably, I still probably can. Uh, so we'll try to shoot for Saturday for a question and answer session. Uh, if you want to join that for the Finding Value website, Platinum Membership. Uh, if you sign up, you can go to that. I'm also going to schedule a training on, uh, it's going to be May 6th, I think is what it's going to be, uh, for 
technical analysis. And that's part of the platinum membership is these training sessions. I do record these. They do get pos <clears throat> posted on the website. So if you miss them, uh, you can watch them later on. No big deal. All right, guys. We'll, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.